welcome to my channel. This video will be about sorting and organizing my Kohinoor pencils. I really appreciate this Czech brand. I own their water-soluble Mondelēz pencils and also several of their regular pencils from Polycolor series. Kohinoor Mondelēz were one of my first sets which I purchased when I just started to color more than five, maybe even six years ago, so it's a long story. When I started to color, I realized that in my first set of Derwent Color Softs was a terrible lack of regular green colors, and I loved to color leaves, landscapes, so I needed more greens. And I discovered that in our local art shop, the only available brand for pencils that was Kohinoor. So I purchased myself a set of 36 water-soluble Mondelēz pencils, but I mostly used them without water as regular pencils. And I was really impressed by intensity of color, how highly pigmented they are, and how soft also. Of course, you can't expect water-soluble pencils to blend as smoothly as regular wax-based or oil-based pencils. They crumble more, they can't provide a smooth coverage, but as I said, they are very soft. So now I use them as secondary pencils. When I feel that my paper is already quite burnished and I still want to apply another color, maybe to intensify shadows or to add color accents, that's where water-soluble pencils with their softness can be quite helpful. So I started to purchase them individually, but I realized that during last years I totally neglected those pencils. And I know that the main reason is that I store them in total mess. They have their own bucket, but that's definitely not the best way for me to store my pencils. And I also don't have a decent swatch for them. I have very old swatch, which I made at the moment when I purchased them, but it's in old notebook and I uh, always put it somewhere. So I prefer to do the new swatch. I keep all my swatches in individual folder. Here I have everything. And I sort them in order from yellow, orange, red colors. And when I have such a swatch, it's much easier for me to select colors. So I hope that if I reorganize them and to do a normal swatch, then I will be able to use them again. And apart from this bunch of pencils, which I need to sharpen and to reorganize, I also have individual sets of Kohinoor pencils. I have those wonderful sets which I received as this year birthday present. Wonderful arrangement of brown colors. Why I love Kohinoors? Because they really have very nice color palette. Very well balanced. I love their greens, their blue colors. Their browns also are amazing. And you can see that here we have regular browns, more yellow or reddish brown colors, those dark colors, they are always very helpful. And um, apart from these um, colors which I had previously in these individual sets, I also have unique colors like this very dark, um, like Tuscan red, beautiful reddish brown color. I am quite eager to test it. And apart from this one, I also have pencils in metal boxes. One is Mondelēz, one is Polycolor. And I have pencils in the back of my Polychromos case here. When I discovered that on our market we also have Polycolor and that they have special set for portraits, I wasn't able to find the whole set, but at least I purchased several 
um, shades of pink. They are also not included in the main set of polycolors. So I started to collect those pencils individually. So I also need to take them from this uh, pencil case and to put into their own together with the landscape set, which I now have. Here they are. And finally, this year I received portrait set, but in Mondelus. Um, Kohinoor, they produce same colors, but in different quality. You can purchase regular pencils or the same colors of Mondelus. And I think that it's quite comfortable because you know colors which you need and you just have to select. Would you rather have very soft but crumbling Mondelus pencils or polycolors? Polycolors are tricky. I can't say that they are best for coloring books. Definitely not. They require toothy paper. They sometimes look dry and hard. But on many papers, for example, in um, Tatiana Bagema vintage classic books, they can be quite helpful. And as I said, they have amazingly beautiful natural colors. So I hope that when I rearrange all my pencils, it will be easier for me to select colors and also uh, Mondelus or polycolors. I will put them all in one case. I purchased for them this Flower Beauty huge case. And I will do a separate swatch. I think that for Mondelus portrait set I will do a swatch on a watercolor paper because if these pencils I don't intend to use with water, eh, I prefer to use them as they are. This one I want to test with their full uh, uh, full force. I want to use them as water soluble pencils and they have perfect book in mind where I can test them. They are Czech brand. And they have beautiful coloring book with portraits of uh, Czech painter Alphonse Mucha. So I think that they will be perfect match. I hadn't started that book yet, so maybe it will be a very good push for me to finally start doing Mucha portraits. And paper is good, so I think that water soluble pencils will be also a very nice match to this beautiful Mucha book. So, I will return to you in a moment with my new swatches and my new order of pencils. Then we will discuss my swatches and what I think about color palette of Kohinoor pencils.
finish to do my handmade swatch card for Kohinoor pencils. I didn't bother to indicate do I have Mondelus or Polycolor pencils. For me, more important was to know what shades, what colors I own. And I decided to do this swatch in order from 2, 3, 4, 5. It helped me to indicate for myself which colors I own and which colors I maybe want to purchase, because I have this very bad habit. If I start to collect pencils, I want to collect the whole range. I can't limit myself to smaller sets of pencils if I know that there are more and more colors in this line. And when I tried to find names for the pencils, because on the core we have only number, but if you go to the uh, manufacturer's Kohinoor website, you can find there also names of the colors. I discovered that apart um, from colors which I don't have here, like 55 or 58, they also started to manufa manufacture totally new lines, uh, 700, 800 numbers. Unfortunately, um, colors, they look very attractive on the screen, especially uh, those in purple and lilac shades, and I always want to have more purple and lilac. Even now I have quite nice shades in this Kohinoor set, but on the screen their new colors also look quite interesting. Unfortunately, they are not available in our local art stores. Maybe later, when things are better, maybe our art shops will be able to bring those new polycolor colors. Or maybe one day I will go to Czech Republic and I will manage to visit uh, shops of Kohinoor products, so I will be able to purchase them. So I indicated for myself that there are many new colors which I don't own. And when I did this swatch card, I also put in a separate line those colors which are suitable for doing light skin tones. I decided that for the set of uh, portraits uh, I will do another uh, swatch card, but not on this simple regular paper, but on the paper similar to a watercolor with more thickness and better surface. Here I did only dry swatch, there I will try to apply water, because it's quite interesting how uh, on the real watercolor paper, those Mondelus uh, pencils for doing skin, how they behave. Uh, here I prepared my book where I intend to use this set with portraits color. And here paper is quite thick, so I am sure that I will be able to use water. That's why I decided to do another swatch on watercolor paper. So, Colors are quite pleasant. As I said, they have very well balanced color range. I love their green colors, a lot of natural green colors. Also beautiful blue colors. Mm, nice intense dark colors, but my favorite one is this uh, 56, which is called Mountain Blue. And I have it as a Mondelus and also as this Progressa. I already did one background using this pencil and it's very comfortable to use even to cover huge backgrounds and to apply water. So really interesting, nice uh, product. It's Progressa Aquarel water soluble pencil. Unfortunately, I have only two of them, but maybe later I will try to extend this range. I also love their brown colors. Just look here at this range. Uh, when I did swatches, I discovered that if I have a couple of pencils in the same color, like um, I have duplicates because something I got from my first set, then something I purchased open stock, there are small differences in um, pencil core, but not very significant. And actually, a color which we get on swatch, it's quite close to them color of the pencil, so it's easy to find them. 
So that's how my pencil case look for now. I put everything here, all uh, Kohinoor products, even a couple of my pastel pencils. Here are those Progressor Aquarel two pencils and finally here I have those beautiful pastel skin tones very nice yellow colors this yellow I purchase them constantly open stock I have it's banana yellow I purchase it as polycolor and Montelus it's very helpful when you need to create impression of the light sunshine on the picture I also love the range of all those pink magenta violet colors so I already selected uh, that in order to get acquainted with these pencils again I will do uh, background with them and I decided that I will practice in uh, Good Vibes and Warriors books. You know that in the first edition paper is really good, very close to watercolor paper, you can apply water, everything uh, spreads on the surface of the paper very well, water-soluble pencils, watercolors, so it's a perfect paper to start experimenting with pencils background and I think that I will select something from this range because I really really love their colors. I think about maybe combining lilac plus French pink. So I hope that in a couple of days you will see such video on my channel. And finally now I will do this final swatch on watercolor paper to be fully prepared to start my first portrait with Kohinoor Mondelus pencils.
So I did a swatch of the set of portraits colors and here I have them dry and here I have them activated with water. I noticed for myself which colors slightly change color, like this brown. After I applied water it started to be more yellowish, but the rest of them quite well maintain the same color and I was really happy how uh, pigmented they are still are even after applying water. I just have to remember that I need to be very light-handed when I do portraits, because first when you apply a pencil to the paper, you can obviously see a more intense area of pigment, especially with some reddish colors, then when you just flow pigment over the surface of the paper. So it's important to mm, press quite lightly when you do portraits. And I think that with all those light shades and beautiful arrangement of yellow and brown, I will manage to color my first portrait, which I selected in Alphonse Mucha book. I decided to start from the very beautiful portrait. This Sarah Bernard, together with a very interesting background and her head adorned with lilies, so quite amazing, but challenging of course. I hope that I won't mess up and that I gain some interesting experience. So please wish me luck and I hope to return to you maybe during the next week with my first attempts to do portrait with water-soluble pencils.